hello students uh, this is one more important uh, method of the aerobic as well as anaerobic treatment but it is mostly considered in the aerobic treatment that is the rotating biological contactor sometimes it is called as the rbc it is not a, uh, a red blood corpuscle but it is nothing but the rotatory biological contactor uh, keep in mind because it is important for the objective also so this is important in the way of the set net even though your semester examination rotatory or rotating biological contactor this rbc is a type of secondary treatment process because it has biological film it has the biological uh, uh, it includes biological treatment that's why it is coming under the secondary treatment the primary treatment process means the removal of grit and sand through the screening process followed by the settling so in biological treatment if you are using this rotatory biological contactor but before this you have to clean that water through or screen that water through preliminary and primary treatment so most of the load will be removed and it will not be come on this rbc this process involves allowing the waste water to come in contact with the biological medium in order to remove the pollutants how it becomes so it is the the contact between the biological medic medium in order to remove the pollutants contact so meaning is in the title rotating biological contact so there is a drum so that drum is continuously rotating and on that drum that area is a rough area and on this means the drum has a rough area at the outside and uh, with the help of this rough area the microbial organisms or microbes they are uh, growing on this particular surface area there is a what the biofilm is formed or developed on this rough area and that drum is continuously rotating into the another uh, the reactor so that is in uh, half of the portion uh, in air and half of the portion in water of that particular drum so when half portion is upper side and half portion is the lower side means some of the part comes in contact with the air some of the part is comes in, uh, comes uh, in uh, without air so it is nothing but the contact between the microbes and their uh, uh, microbes and uh, microbes into the the organic matter so this process involves allowing the waste water to come in contact with biological medium in order to remove the pollutants so when it comes in contact means they are consuming the organic matter that is the meaning of this particular treatment and it consists of series of closely spaced parallel disc so closely spaced and parallel disc mounted on a ro rotating shaft it has a disc so that disc is a mounted on a rotating shaft so there is a rotating shaft that is a continuously rotating and there is a, the, that shaft has a, a fixed uh, rotation or there that has a, a fixed speed which is maintained by using the speedometer so which has a supported just above the surface of the waste water and these microbes they are growing on the surface of that disc where the biological degradation of the waste water pollutants takes place how it becomes so that that i will to show this is the half barrel or we can say that this is the half disc and this is the full disc this disc overall disc is continuously rotating into the this particular reactor half portion in the water and half portion is above the water means this disc is rotating in this way you know, clockwise as well as anti clockwise when it rotates some of the part will comes in contact with the open air and some of the part or half of the portion is coming in contact with the waste water so there is what the organic matter when the organic matter touches to this particular uh, disc and on this disc uh, there is a rough area and on that rough area the film microbial film or we can say the media supports that media has a rough surface and that's a rough surface 
has a micro organisms group of micro organisms they are consuming they are in they are in contact with this or uh, micro uh, organic matters to this uh, biofilm and when it comes in contact with these two thing uh, both of them they degrade the organic matter from the wastewater understood so this is the front view of this uh, rbc and if you see the side view these are the the rough areas means you can cover with pipes you can cover with some clothes you can cover with some plastic material or even though you can design in this uh, in this way and this is a shaft this shaft is revolving this particular drum or uh, which is controlled by the motor so this is one media pack and this is media disc or the panels this is the on the structure of the rbc rotatory biological conductor and this biofilter is a fixed film process because it has a fixed film and this fixed film degrades a lot of the organic matter from the wastewater it is a bed of media on which microorganisms attach to the grow to form biological layer called as the biofilm so whatever the layer is formed on this disc that layer is called as the biofilm and that supposed and that is in contact with the organic matter from the wastewater of the wastewater this biofiltration is used to treat wastewater from a wide range of sources with varying organic composition and concentration and this process is versatile as it can be adapted to a small flows mostly municipality which has a large amount of the organic matter so there it this particular method is uh, very feasible and very useful for the treatment so this is a one more important and advanced method uh, of the biological treatment that is rbc so i think you can understood about this rbc that is a rotating biological contactor of the this unit uh, this biological method of the aerobic treatment okay thank you